talk about geek chic. Smart's the new sexy, right? Incidentally, that was the tagline for a little show called The Big Bang Theory when it premiered 10 years ago. Personally, I've been waiting my whole life for geek to be chic. When I was in chess club in junior high, no one thought that was cool. I had friends with glasses as thick as Coke bottles. No one was featuring them on billboards advertising that geek is chic. When I memorized every They Might Be Giants and Elvis Costello song, no one thought that was interesting or worthy of further conversation, except a guy I met in college in calculus class who had Elvis Costello glasses. I married that guy. But now, billboards and advertising show us quirky types wearing Chuck Taylors and funky glasses, celebrating their geekiness, geeking out. Some photo shoots play up the sexy geek thing, showing women undressing, but leaving on their clunky glasses as if to say, I'm geeky, but I'm still desirable. Mm -hmm. Geek chic is supposedly about trying to elevate those among us who are different. How we dress, what we wear, how we think, what we like. But being different the way I am and the way a lot of you are can still be hard and can also be painful, even if popular culture is telling us that it's cool. Why? Well, for the same reason I cry when I see X-Men movies. X-Men movies focus on what it's like to be different and have no one understand you. X-Men characters do one of two things. They either try to fit in by hiding their powers and specialness, or they band together to fight the status quo. This struggle is very real for me. And much as I sometimes find people who are like me, and who like me, and that makes me feel less alone, on a daily basis, for the most part, it still feels really yucky to feel like you're on the outside. A lot of times I feel left out because I just don't understand what's going on with celebrity news or fashion or showbiz stuff because I'm, I'm different. What it looks like is people have conversations that I can't be a part of even though I'm trying to. People talk on set about what celebrity did what to whom, or if I'm in a meeting with a casting agent, they'll, they'll talk about this actor's project or that writer's project, and what do I think about that? I've cultivated a, yeah, that's totally awesome face that also does not invite any further discussion because I have nothing else to offer. It, it kind of looks like this. <laughs> yeah. And there's a feeling I get when I'm standing in a room of people who aren't into X-Men or who aren't interested in the latest skeleton found in a remote icy glacier that had intact teeth or, or who don't care about which edition of D&D is the best. 3.5. It's a feeling that hits like a jackhammer when I realize I have no idea what people are talking about. They're talking about people I don't know or, or aspects of life that I can't relate to or they're laughing about something and I just don't really think it's that funny. This feeling is the exact same feeling that every nerd feels when they're at a party and they have no idea what to say to anyone there. And that feeling doesn't really change from the time you're 12 to the time you're 19 to the time you're 40 if you can't hang with whatever the majority conversation and culture looks like. I'm different and I can't not be different. So no matter how much geek chic is shown on billboards and in advertising and even on shows like The Big Bang Theory, it still feels really rough to be left out. And that's the thing I love about our show. We're not showing geeky characters who finally make it in the cool kids club. We show characters who grow up to still be left out. Because for a lot of us, that's just how it's gonna be. But we can also learn to be more comfortable with who we are. And with that comfort comes less anxiety about not fitting in and a broader understanding of our place in what can sometimes seem to be a universe of cool kids. Part of what I'm trying to do with these videos is to harness my nerdiness and embrace it in a way that we can make room for other nerds to feel spoken to, spoken for, and understood. I'm honored and proud to tackle and take on issues big and small for the broader geek and nerd community. I'm glad you're along for the ride. We found each other. That's a good thing. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.